All right, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of uh, the TBoss web application. Uh, so you probably have a brand new account. So what you're going to want to do is I would start with a new invoice. Uh, what you got here is basically your invoice screen comes up. Um, you've got customer form, art files, workflow schedule, etc. Um, your form is your basic um, basic form for your invoice. So we will click on the add product. You'll notice that most of the buttons, or whenever you see a green circle or a dot, that's usually a uh, a button to something. So I click in the style number description, and then I will click a two, say a Gildan 2000. So we'll do 2000 space bar. Does a quick search, small through extra large. We come over here, and we enter 12 small, 12 medium, 12 large. And when we click on the value for our color, I'm going to select white. These values here can be whatever you want. You could put uh, natural, you could put whatever you like in there, um, even newer colors, and it will automatically remember that for you. Most of the things will be automatically memorized for you. Next, I come down here, I'm going to add a work order. Here's our add work order button. I'm going to do a screen print. I'm going to click on the open button here. I'm going to do a two color screen print. I'm going to click OK. I click on the customer screen here. If you wanted to, you could add all the information for a new customer you got here. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one that I already have in the system. Uh, Charlie Brown. So we've got the customer, Charlie Brown. We've got Art and Files. You'll notice that he does have a image located with him. So, I'm going to go ahead and click the Attach button for that image. And you'll notice if you click Association, it's associated with this custom screen printing. There's actual relations between um, many of the items here. You'll see the association between your work order and your product here. So, that's kind of actually important to, to point out too. So... Um, as as things build up, you want to associate, etc., and whatnot um, for that. So when you come to the workflow, we're going to have it invoiced. Um, it's going to automatically schedule it on the calendar, um, which is right here. You can see your calendar. Um, additional fees. Say that you had a fee like a uh, a screen charge. Um, two of those. We're going to add that to the order. Click that. There's our totals. You can see our dates, etc. Um, and basically, all we need for our for our customer. So, from that point, I can just go ahead and click Control S, Control P, either one. Um, save print, and you'll notice here our printing options. There's multiple printing options. If you have an email entered into the system, they will have their email pop up here, so that you can click on that and automatically email them proofs and invoices and quotes. Here I'm going to click on averaged. A new window pops up with a PDF of their averaged invoice. You can see here's a payment right there. Um, and also our work order. Here we're going to do a work order for a, a job, a two color screen print job with 36 t-shirts. So that's, uh, that's about as simple as it gets when it comes to creating an invoice. So there's that invoice. Like I said, it automatically adds it to items to purchase. Um, if you go to open your invoice, you'll see your invoice right here. And sales and balances. You'll notice that Charlie Brown is right here with a negative balance of 737 on that order. If you wanted to add a payment, you can click add payment right here and uh, go ahead and click that button.